Oh man. One time I knew this uh, guy named Paul. Uh, we were both about 11 years old. I went over to his house. I don't know. He was kind of retarded. I'm not going to lie. Anyway. <laughs> he had this large Lego collection. Kept it in a big box in his closet. <laughs> We'd like to dump it out on the floor. It's all that the Legos go over a large area and you can see all the different kinds. You know, Legos are expensive. Legos cost money. They don't farm those things. There's no third world, third class D Lego farm in Ethiopia. Anyway, playing with his Legos and he had some specialty pieces. And at the time I valued such things, even coveted. So I straight up jacked his specialty pieces when I wasn't looking. <laughs> Blight on my soul forevermore. It's probably where I started going downhill. Karma, low self esteem, I don't know. Stole that retarded dude's specialty Lego pieces, fitted endings, little slants, curves, incline planes, and whatnot, with little knobbies, one pieces, two pieces, four piece blocks, six dots. Red, green, and blue. And spaceship silver. Anyway, the cancer grew in my mind and my soul. Started to turn black, atrophy. Past my prime at 22. Now I'm just gonna go walk out to the field and die. I had some romantic notion that I got from my father about being eaten by wolves dramatically in a field, going back to my primal roots as they rip my flesh in the crescendo orgy of death and life for them, baby puppies, cubs, cute roly-poly bellies that smell like wolf baby. Anyway, there's no more wolves left because we killed them all. The truth would be me and a bunch of hobos and maybe raccoons slowly eating me every night as I sleep. But I take what I can get. That's as primal as, uh, as available, unfortunately. In the hog wallow broken prairie lands of the black land prairie. Lego thief from an early age gone bad. Sociopathic behavior, no remorse. Only remorse that you suffer for it now. Do you hear it? Do you hear it? Sounds harmonic. Said the whiskey. One time I was driving down the street. <laughs> I was driving down Motley Avenue, just past Eastfield College, went over to the bridge into the old neighborhood where I grew up in when I was a really small child. Always trips me out a little bit. Anyway, there were some kids, and they were walking down the sidewalk on the side of said Motley Avenue. And I, I gave them the little nod of acknowledgement, you know, the little eye glimmer of humanity, and the little fucker flipped me off with a little stubby eight-year-old middle finger, shot me the birdie bird, and then saw my face change, and they scattered. And I decided, you know what? I'm gonna get these fucking kids. I don't know what I thought, but I was gonna get these fucking kids, little fucking flipper offers. Maybe I was tired. I don't even remember. It was a long time ago. Anyway, followed them down a few streets. These little fuckers were fast. I was in my, uh, 
Buick station wagon. 1984, straight up. It's gonna kill me some kids. They ducked into a backyard. I figured that must be their little fucker's house. Went up to the door. Knocked three times on the door. Some shirtless, tan, hard-working dad comes to the door to greet me face to face. I tell him my story. I said they went in his backyard. And I said, wait. Look. I have a rare syndrome, and I have to play Yahtzee right now. Let me in. I will give you a large sum of money because my baby mama's in Houston, and if I could just play the Yahtzee at your place and then make this phone call, I could have the money wired to your, you know, like a, a Western Union. He looked at me puzzled, didn't understand exactly the shift. It took him off guard, and that's how I knew my evil plan. The seed had been planted. Me and Jesus sowing good seed of revenge. Anyway, I'll see at this guy's house for four or five hours. Decent fella. Weren't his kids. That's when I set off across the vast desert to the east. Rode on llamas and Camels and cantaloupes across a scalding hot desert, 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Nowhere to go. I was just gonna find these fucking kids somewhere lost in the early memories of my 20s, floating around like the little bits of shit, cell wall debris that float around in your eyeball. You can almost see him. They just ducked behind that house. Just went down that street. Then I found him and I, uh, I killed him. Mm -hmm. 